I became pregnant with my third baby. I couldn't drink anything because I felt like I was being electrocuted. Like I had a ton of needles and knives poking me. Every time I opened my mouth, I couldn't touch my lower lip because if just the smallest, you know, slightest touch, it'll hurt. I was like, well, I'm gonna have this baby and I'm not gonna be able to take care of him because I can't function if I'm in this much pain. So that's when I started looking for support groups and I found one amazing Facebook group where they talk about this condition. It's people with trigeminal neuralgia. I would get this ice pick pain in my eye and instantly throw up. So I would literally be talking to someone and just go like that as if someone were to stab you or an electric shock came through. I dealt with this for 18 years. The emotional trauma was probably the hardest. You don't know when it's gonna do what it wants to do. And that's why it just slowly eats you away as a person because you never know when it's coming. When I actually met Dr. Lim, he is so comforting. And I tell everyone, it's just this connection you have and he makes you feel like you're the only patient of his and literally listens to everything you say and makes you feel understood. Trigeminal neuralgia is actually a clinical diagnosis. You can't make the diagnosis with a blood test or MRI or CAT scan. It's a condition where patients present with a very characteristic pain. They, it's either sharp or stabbing or electrical. Patients say sometimes like an electrical zap. And when you look at the trigeminal nerve, oftentimes there's an artery that's sitting on top of the nerve that's pulsating or rubbing on the nerve. And if you think of a nerve like a wire as it pulses, it's literally rubbing away the insulation, which they call myelin. And if you can imagine rubbing away that insulation, when the bare nerves touch, it's, it's essentially causing a short circuiting. And that manifests as that sharp stabbing pain. And it's usually in the front of the face, on the top third, middle third, or lower third, or a combination of. And they tell me that eating, drinking, or cold wind, for example, they can't go outside on a winter day without getting the pain. Most people do well with medications, medicines such as Tegretol or Gabapentin. But over time, some of the patients develop uh, resistance or they become more tolerant to those medications or they develop side effects as they need to go up. And when medications fail the patient, there are some good surgical options. One option is to do something called a rhizotomy. It's a small procedure where we essentially take a needle and put it right here in the cheek and we thread the needle up into the bottom of the skull, right where the trigeminal nerve comes out, and then we burn the nerve either with a chemical called glycerin or with heat or both. And a lot of people come out with pain relief and can come off the medications. There's no sutures involved. Patients go home the same day and they may need to have this procedure done and it can be done multiple times. Microvascular decompression is a small surgery that we do. It's done right here behind the ear, and you make a small opening about the size of a dime or a nickel in the skull. It's a very tiny opening. And then you bring in a microscope, and you can actually look at the nerve, and you can separate the nerve from the artery, and you can either put a cushion there, or you can transpose it. You just push the artery away from the nerve, and you close. And we put a little bone cement made of calcium, it's the same stuff your own bone is made with and make and close. It's about an hour and a half surgery. At the completion of the surgery, most patients do well. About 80% of the patients can actually be cured. They have no more pain, they're off their medicines. It's one of my favorite things to be able to tell a patient because it's not often that we get to say you're potentially cured. Life after surgery with Dr. Lim is a true blessing. The fact that I was able to get my life back is truly a miracle. And, you know, I owe everything to them for being able to get my life back, to have my energy, my passions, me. I'm me again. He literally gave me my life back. I feel like, like the old me. With this condition, you feel very lonely. You feel like there's no one that understands what you're going through. And I felt very, very like uh, safe with him and his team. I can be more present for my kids. I can carry my baby. I can play with him. 
just the fact that I can do things that I thought I was never going to be able to do again without pain. <laughs>